All right, YouTube, it's time for an unboxing. Um, haven't done one of these before, but uh, I figured with this product coming in, I might as well give it a shot now. So, we have the uh, Steam Controller here. It looks pretty uh, interesting. Um, it's been some lukewarm reviews uh, online about it, but I've been really looking forward to it. So I figured I'd give this a shot. So, um, when you're doing an unboxing video, the important thing to keep in mind is to use your uh, cell phone's shitty camera to record things and a crappy inline mic. Uh, that really uh, it brings out the quality, um, shows you you're a professional. Uh, don't have a tripod, just to hold it kind of shakily in your hand a little bit. Um, and then try to use a sharp object in the other hand to open it. A uh, box cutter, in this case. So, uh, assuming that I don't split some of my arteries open, um, this should go pretty well. Uh, not, not much on the outside of the box. You just got your uh, standard high quality press shots of the device. Uh, kind of in a wraparound sleeve configuration here. Um, the print quality is very nice though, and I do like that it's kind of a mi mix like matte and glossy finish. Um, in the corner you can see that the Steam logo is kind of made of a glossy uh, material against the black matte of the box. It's a, um, from a design perspective, it's a really nice choice. Um, so uh, you wouldn't really expect much else from Valve. Um, yeah, and so just two little, little uh, kind of cello tape clasps here in the way of me removing the sleeve. There we go. Off that bad boy comes. And so here we have the, the box that's under the sleeve. It's just a, kind of a nice matte material. Uh, it's pretty good. Got a weird circular tape job around here securing the final clasp. Let's see if we can figure out which way this is supposed to open up for maximum presentation value. I'm going to guess it's this way. All right. Ah, there it is. Um, yeah, without the battery, it's a lot lighter than I would expect. Um, I'll zoom in and show it off in the product form in a second here, but uh, let's just see what we else we got in the box. We've got the wireless dongle for connecting it to your computer. That's probably a good idea. Uh, two batteries wrapped up in um, kind of like a plastic shrink wrap. Uh, I wish there was a rechargeable battery in this, much like the PS4 controller, but they decided to go the Xbox route of making you slap some Duracells in that bad boy. So, a little disappointing, but you know, what can you do? Alright, underneath this cardboard fixture we have here is our quick start guide. And uh, a controller product guide. It's full of words, um, words that are printed on paper. I probably won't read them. Um, in hidden, kind of like in a side area here, kind of zoom in to see how like bizarre of an arrangement that is, is uh, this thing. What is this? Oh, it's some, it's kind of a USB, hmm, yeah, I need to look at that quick start guide. <laughs> uh, I think it just goes in like that. And we've made this. Okay, so I'm assuming there's a cable in here as well. Oh yeah. There we are. Yep, the cable. Okay, so this whole setup here, the dongle and the other dongle, and then this cable here uh, should be what connects to your PC. Um, I bet... Uh, I bet that's for like some sort of corded operation. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a here's a, a port here to connect the controller. So you can looks like you can wire it as well. I'll do an impressions video later and uh, and see how well that works. But uh, let's take an actual look at the product itself now. Let's 
see. So here we are. Um, it does uh, have the comparison of looking like an owl, and it, it, indeed, I think it does look like an owl a little bit. Uh, these being these trackpads being the eyeballs, uh, and having the four buttons and the uh, protruding joystick on its face, just like an owl. Um, so I can see um, where that comparison comes from. We've got our uh, triggers here. Um, they're dual stage, so you can you can uh, use it like an analog um, trigger, just like on your Xbox 360 controller. But you can also press it in, uh, much in the way that the GameCube controller was a two-stage uh, analog uh, trigger. So that's pretty neat. We got these paddles here. Um, that's for removing the battery housing and uh, giving you some third triggers on the bottom. So when you're holding it, you can just kind of squeeze down there and uh, hit whatever else you're mapping. Um, if I can get my autofocus to do its thing here. Come on. No, it's just not having it. Okay. Hold it back a little bit farther then. Um, it's hard to pick it up with the autofocus not working, but uh, on the edge of the controller here is a... Um, kind of a rubberized uh, stimple pattern. Um, man. Oh. oh, I think it's going to focus. Yeah, man. yeah, there we go. Uh, kind of, oh, it's actually, huh, in the camera I can see it a lot better than with my eyeballs. Um, it's actually less of like the, the stimple pattern on the Xbox One controller, and it's more of kind of a raised dot design. And uh, I really like that. It gives it some grip. Um, looks as though you can, yep, you can press it in, um, you know, so you can get, it. uh, I would say L3, but, uh, it's the only stick, so you just get an optional click in here, trackpads click in as well. Um, overall, I really do like the visual design of it, uh, feels comfortable, um, at least in one hand. <laughs> Obviously, without a tripod, I can't put both hands on it, so, um, yeah, all in all, a uh, great... Uh, packaging design. Um, really like the look of the box, the look of the sleeve. Um, simple, easy to use guide here. Um, you know, just like put the batteries in, you know, uh, you know, plug it into your computer, play around with it. Uh, it's a controller, you know, what else do you need? It's pretty pretty simple so I think that'll about do it for this video and uh, leave a like if you didn't uh, post some sort of belligerent comment if you didn't and um, yeah I'll um, post a video that contains my impressions with the overall product at some undisclosed date all right see y'all later